And before we conclude, I just want to leave you a couple ideas to ponder, think about, look at it. You know, there's a saying, there's four corners to a building. You go to the roof of a skyscraper, you stand on one corner, and you look down Madison Avenue. You go to another corner, and you look down another street. I'm asking you to have the courage to look at you and your dad from another angle. Take the risk and look at him from another angle. And you, I can hear you, I can hear people say to me all the time, he doesn't matter, he's gone. You just solidified how much he matters. Because anybody tells you it doesn't matter, or they're telling you I can't deal with it. And if you can't deal with it, look at the father factor. You can get past it. I know a lot of you have had a really rough road, painstaking, abuse, all types of abuse. But one of the most underrated is the belief you can't heal. And healing takes time, but it takes persistence. I wanna read something to you from Calvin Coolidge. It's one of my favorite quotes. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing's more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is all, almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. And I want to say this to you before we stop. You may have a failed marriage, bankruptcy, or as a woman, you've never been able to get married, have kids, the dream, or guys, things that just haven't gone the way you wanted. Don't let that be an excuse not to get back on your path, your trail, and redesign your father factor. Because that legacy is in you. I have a client, his dad said to him once, it'll amount to nothing. And he did do nothing to about age 42 when he got a note on his pillow, his wife saying, I'm done. He just thought, you know, I gotta change this. Now, it took years, but he did. Not only he changed himself, but he changed his world. He changed his relationship with his kids, his ex-wife, and his new wife. I have another one. Lovely woman, mid-30s, dated every wrong guy. She said, if there's a wrong guy in Los Angeles, I met him. And I probably married a few of them. Fast forward, she's in her mid-40s. She realized that all her life, she was trying to be the perfect daughter, her, so her dad would love her. And she realized she was good enough. She's in her 50s. The whole thing changed. The whole thing changed. Her life changed. It can be done. And lastly, there's no substitution for action. Your dad does not hold the keys to your life. If you think he does, go get him. You hold the keys. What's holding him? Anger, blame, fear of rejection, not feeling loved or supported, criticized, feel like a failure. That's what's holding your keys. Go get them. And once you get your keys, start opening doors you never thought you could open. And you'll be the most surprised. I'm telling you the truth, personally and professionally, start opening up the doors you think are locked. And if you don't have the right key, keep trying, because you do. Thank you.